So <clears throat> you have been such a path breaker. You are the first woman and first woman of color to hold the position that you do at the Department of Veterans Affairs. Could you talk a little bit about how that has influenced how you approach this job? So women veterans are the fastest growing cohort within the VA. And I hope that uh, first and foremost, while I may be the first, I won't be the last, um, that hopefully by fellow women veterans seeing me in this role, that they feel the VA is the place for them. And uh, while I want to do outreach to all veterans, I do find my interactions with women veterans that they don't always feel that they're a veteran. I uh, was standing in Target and a cashier opened up a line and I was like, thank you so much, really appreciate it. It was on Veterans Day and so she had a line for veterans. And I thanked her and she said, I used to be a veteran. I said, well, that's not a group you get to leave. We're veterans for life. And someone along the way had told her that because she didn't deploy or because she never left her base that she wasn't a female veteran or a veteran. And so one of the biggest things that I try to do is demystify who a veteran is. And even doing PACT Act events, you know, when, when PACT Act was passed, we went out and included in the budget was us to be able to also do engagements. And so at church, I actually had a PACT Act event and I had a, a, a spouse come up to me and was really adamant about her husband's service and making sure that he got everything he needed and to file. And I said, oh, where'd you meet? And she said, oh, we met at Fort Carson. I said, oh, did you serve? She said, yeah. I said, well, did you file? Well, no, my, my spouse. And so this compartmentalization of women veterans, and while we've done a really great job last year, we enrolled 53,000 uh, women into our healthcare system, which is the highest number ever, but we still have a lot of work to do. 